Hello and welcome back to SAS Reviews, the channel where we review the newest SAS products. Today we are looking at ChronicleBot, basically a Discord event manager using your Google Calendar. Now, let's start and get my first impressions. Um, I like the logo, it's just it doesn't really work with backgrounds. That's my literal first impression. Um, I know it's a calendar, right? But it doesn't look like it because I can't see the black line, so all it looks like is a robot with two antennas like this. Right, it doesn't look like... I mean, it could also work like that, but I would recommend just trying to fix that by trying to either, like, make it a darker shade or try to make it more noticeable. I don't know what you can really do. Maybe change the background to that light blue section over here, but I'm... Just make the logo look a little bit more apparent. I like that you have an updates page and that it actually shows what's new and what's improving because as a user I would love to know what's going to be changing, what improvements are you making to the product if any and seeing the progress of the product through this helps a lot realizing oh this is gonna get better right this isn't a stagnant product that they just did once and oh i put it out there i'm never gonna touch it again i'm just gonna hope it makes money no you're actively working on it and i respect that on the documentation page which is the help page i recommend you change the name to get help or like how to start i believe that would be a better um way to label it than documentation that that kind of feels wrong right maybe like how to start and help slash help right that would be a nice name for the page not documentation because documentation i'm thinking oh it's a couple files right it's not the actual help page okay um nice format showing how it would work for like the google calendar thing and how it like automatically go i like that and how like you make your point come across super easily and the only thing i would have to say about this is that you should maybe use like because it right here i like the discord calendar showing it but i would rather see it in a server setting so i understand what it's going to look like on this server side for like a general view of the server because obviously I see server events all the time, but like like this, right? Like, can we customize images here? Can we do that? Like, I would love to see that and like get more feedback on that. I would believe that would be a huge change. Like a D&D game night with a dragon. That would work really well. And I would, it would be more advertising. If I'm like an actual like, oh, event like coordinator for a server of course i'll want like images for my events to show off what i'm actually going to do okay and i think we can continue to the actual dashboard so here's the oh i i am logged out there we go okay um so currently i do not have a discord server to create so this in but I can show you how to create it so first you go to event notifiers once you connect your discord server you press add notifier super simple super easy now what you can do what you have to do kind of is add the calendar connect a Google calendar to this which I kind of find tedious I would rather just put events in and have them do it itself maybe like an excel sheet like format because certain servers may not use google calendars i recommend like expanding formats but if that's what you guys can do right now i i trust in it so yeah i believe that you can improve it but i know that this is a start a starting point so i understand that um, I can choose the channel that I want the notifications to go into. The summaries, that's pretty cool. I like that it adds a summary. An event sync, basically showing you how it can, like, how many days should I sync into the future. And event links. 
so. And here's my other thing. Notifier time zone. What time zone should the bot use for this notifier? I would recommend, and this is personally, I would recommend changing it so it automatically updates to the user's um, time zone. Because obviously, if you're putting in Eastern time, a person in Australia is not going to think in Eastern time, they're thinking in Australian time. Or if you're from the UK, you're thinking European time, you're six hours ahead, that's... I would rather just have... I don't know if it's possible currently, but I would love for you to be able to like switch it so it can because Discord can do it, right? And I believe that if you really work on this, that would be a game changer for your product because right now, if you put Eastern Time, Europeans do not know what Eastern Time is. Like, and if you tell me, oh, what's this time? What time is it in Australia right now, right? If they put in Australian time? I don't know. I know Central, um, Pacific, and Eastern. That's all I know. And Mountain Time. That's it. Like, I, I don't know. Europeans, I calculate ahead six hours. That's, that's what I do whenever it says in European time. So, yeah, that's... That's hard, and I would kind of just rather have it already set up for the notifier. Event feeds. Now, I haven't done this yet. Oh, you need a premium account. Okay, well, I can't test this. <laughs> and I can't test this either because it's a premium feature. And that leads me to my next segue, the premium. So the premium plan is basically, oh, well, I'm giving you some features, but there's more accessible. And if you pay per month, this is what you get. Unlimited notifiers per server, which means as many people as you want. Multiple calendar connections. More flexible scheduling options. Customizable message templates. Discord event feeds. And early access to new features. Okay, so the only thing I don't like is that customizable me message templates I think you should have a couple that are free that are basic and then have the rest under behind a paywall or allow users to import them in for themselves but restricting it completely kind of like messes with the customiz customization of the notifiers it kind of messes it up and I kind of don't like it so just make like a couple free, I don't know, I mean it will entice people, right? If you make a couple free that are okay and then you see the good ones that are you're advertising for the actual templates like that are paid, people will buy the templates but if you just don't allow us to use them, why do, why would I get a template, right? I don't know what the templates look like, so I would like for you to give samples of templates or even just like a couple free ones just so people can see oh this is what a message template is I like that I'm gonna buy it right the event feed I I know what an event feed is but I would kind of like a feature where you can just test it once for free like just show it once and that's it so people can get like maybe like a free trial kind of could work like a seven day free trial so people can test it out and see if they want it. I would recommend that. And early access to new features that's kind of self-explanatory, right? Okay, here's my other gripe. Um, that $49.90, I think it should be a little lower. If you're trying to entice people to buy that plan, here's what I'm gonna think as a consumer. $4.99 per month, right? It's $48 plus 99 cents times 12, which is $12. So you're like, okay, I just saved you $12, right? Most consumers won't think that way and they'll think you're ripping them off. So here's what I'm gonna suggest. Lower the price by $4. You will notice an instant impact because consumers think, okay, what's four times 12? 48. What's the yearly? 49, why would I buy it? right but 
obviously that's not how it works, but that's how most consumers will think, and they won't buy it. So that's my one sh suggestion for you. If you really want the business to succeed, I would recommend doing that. Obviously, you don't have to, but I would recommend it. So that's it for my review of Chronic Bot. I give it four stars. Yes. It's nice, clean, and just needs a couple more changes, and it's, 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 it's close. It's, it's starting to get closer to five stars, right? It's not like, oh my god, this is revolutionary, but it is a usable and it's more functional than most products that go onto the market. So I would recommend this for anyone who needs to manage Discord events. Um. Yeah, that's it for today's episode of SAS Reviews. If you enjoyed, please subscribe, share, and like. Um, and give me feedback in the comment section below. Do you like the new style? Do you not like the new style? And uh, also, what SAS products do you want me to review in the future? You can put them in the comment section down below, and I will look at them and give them a shot. So, yes. I hope you have a great day. Bye!